Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today is the day when I'm going to start the reassembly of this old snapper. This thing dates from about 1970. She's a little rough. It was working. Uh, I actually, I'm sorry if this wind's bothering. I actually uh, mowed grass with this thing about four years ago and it worked alright. motor was kind of tired. But I got a nice 11 horse Briggs in there. We're going to put on there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but uh, I've already modified that fender so the engine block will sit on there. Obviously I got a less ratty seat that I can put on there. I still got one that I took off in my 3081. Um, anyways, overall it's in pretty good shape. The deck's over there by the garage. Uh, I think everything's about all set on that. Some of these cables are going to need some attention, but I guess basically what I'm going to do is put this together. I want to run it a little bit and see if it needs any attend needs anything done in the differential or anything else. See how the bearings sound in the mower deck. I'm going to do that before I do any painting on it because this thing's been parked for about four years and it's been sitting outdoors. So, anyways, I'll be back once I get started on this project. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye bye. Well, uh, we're back. Obviously making some decent headway here. The engine is on the machine, bolted down. The tires are back on it. Uh, I'm almost ready to... Um, I gotta hook the controls up for the carburetor and the governor and the switch. And I'm almost ready to let this thing down and give the drive system a test after I lube some stuff up underneath. I think I gotta adjust the clutch on it a little bit too. But hoping she's gonna work. I hope those old dry rotted back tires hold up long enough so I can get this thing tested. I'd like to mow a couple hours or so with it if I could. But anyways, I'll be back. Well, uh, we've had this old snapper running here for a little bit. Uh, again, it's probably pretty windy here. Uh, I've been driving it around the yard a little bit. It seems to be running pretty fair. Um, I do have a problem though. The problem is the forward gear seem to work pretty good, but it won't back up. Um, I checked the height of the drive the drive wheel on the crankshaft before I put it in the put it on the machine and it was exactly the same as the old motor that come off in here. Uh, I'm not sure if there was any issue with that backing up before or not. I don't remember. I drove I drove this about four years ago. I mowed grass with it. But, uh, I stuck the old rusty muffler on there just to kind of quiet the thing down a little bit it really blats with the, it really blats with the uh, straight pipe on it uh, we'll start it up here real quick Sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm not. I'm still not 100% happy with. I don't know if the ignition coil is missing once in a while on that or what's going on. It still seems to have a little bit of a misfire to it when it's going. Uh, seems to be pretty consistent. So 
Maybe I'll try swapping that coil out. I've got another one over here on another eight horse. Maybe I'll try that one on it. Overall, I'm pretty happy. Don't seem to smoke much. I see some, if I uh, rev it up, I'll see a little black smoke pop out of it every now and then. But. So I guess what I gotta do is I gotta work on the drive system for now. Uh, holy cow, there's a lot of noise around here in the neighborhood tonight. Trains are running downtown, neighbors mowing grass. Anyways, um, I'll probably be back. Well, uh, good afternoon. I'm out here working on this snapper lawnmower. Gets tipped up here in the service position. Uh, working on the drive system on this thing. Wasn't driving well. Uh, I just put this motor on there and I didn't really take the time to set stuff up correctly, so I'm doing that now. Uh, I've got my old 3081 over here. The big issue I guess with this was probably with the drive wheel. Um, I checked. You have to check the height of that drive wheel from the bottom of the frame to the edge of this. I checked this one against that machine over there and this one was about a quarter of an inch higher up towards the frame. Now that machine over there has always worked really good. It drives strong. So I adjusted this one to match my other one. Uh, the other issue I found here is this. That's the old clip. That's what the, that's what clutches this drive disc on and off, and as you can see, it's had a patch welded on there, which I think I did several years ago. Well, over here, uh, you can see that the corners wore off here. This is where it goes up from neutral position up into reverse. This is another one off in another unit. You can see that that one is worn some, but not as bad. I'm going to put this one in and dry it, see if it'll work. Uh, worst case scenario, I might have to build that one up a little bit too. But The other thing that was wrong with this was the little... <clears throat> I'll get down here so I can show you. This little wheel on the bottom. It's a roller that rides in the slot that rides in here. See how that's got that wear on it right there? Oh. Uh, I actually took this roller bushing off of here and turned it around so that this will ride on a new surface. Hopefully that'll help cure some of the issue with it. Uh, guess We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go for now. I got a lot of work to do here. Not much time to do it in. I'll talk, I'll make a video later. Bye.